an opening statement, then again, we'll open up questions, start on this side to my right, and then to the left, and we'll keep it moving, okay? Yeah, proud of our guys. Uh, you know, kind of knew that Florida State, you know, coming in, and they've played a heck of a, you know, a gauntlet of games and schedule coming in on the road. Uh, we were going to have a great opportunity tonight with our crowd behind us to play, you know, in that environment on that stage is, you know, you want to see what you're made of. And I thought our guys rose to the occasion uh, of the opponent and were ready to play. Um, it wasn't pretty at all, but I will say this. I think if you play against Florida State and you watch them play, uh, it's not an easy game. Uh, they overwhelm you with their, you know, consistency and how it never goes away. And, like, there's, there's no possessions off. And uh, they caught us, I thought, the first eight minutes in particular, ten minutes of the second half of not having our antennas up and our awareness. We, were, we looked lethargic a little bit. I thought our guards started to wear down a little bit. And you could see it on both ends of the floor starting to get away from us. But uh, made a lot of plays. Obviously, Devontae Green was special tonight. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of coaching that went into anything he did, as usual. I mean, when he's good, he's good on his own. But I thought uh, Armand Franklin and Trace Jackson Davis, I thought Justin Smith, I told him this after the game, I think he played the best college game of his career, regardless of any numbers that he had. I don't even know what he had. I just thought he was a real calming force for us. I thought he was a calming guy in, in huddles and timeouts. And he was a leader tonight out there. And that was great to see as well. So we have a lot of guys that were in there. And uh, you know, obviously, the game wasn't perfect. But uh, this is one that uh, we're really fortunate to get. And I uh, can't thank our crowd enough. I'm mean, going to be able to play on that floor as a player. Uh, to me, that, uh, that's an amazing feeling for those guys to be able to play in front of that crowd. So uh, you know, we're excited about that. Tom? Coach, you didn't really have uh, opportunities in November to have tight, tight one possession games. But how did you feel uh, when it got to the three-point game here where you guys responded back quickly and had a couple of nice runs? Yeah, we were okay. I thought that, you know, just talking in timeouts, just trying to stay really calm and poised, you know, you can decipher it a lot of different ways. But we had to get our defense kind of grounded there a little bit. They went small in the second half. Uh, they started the ball screen in the middle of the floor and kind of go five out off the pop action, which, you know, I think that surprised us a little bit. They were able to hit a couple threes to get going. You know, I thought we adjusted a little bit better. And then as the last eight minutes came down, you know, it, it comes down to guys making plays and getting some stops and digging some balls out, some long rebounds. And I thought our defense made enough plays there down the stretch to give us an opportunity. And then uh, the back eight minutes offensively, you know, I thought uh, we were able to at least find a way to function and get some shots, get the ball in the middle of the floor a little bit with them. Uh, they switched every screen in the game. Yeah, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of, there wasn't a whole lot of pretty like, uh, you know, commotion. I mean, you had to literally rely on spacing and rely on your guys to make some plays. Devontae had a couple key drives in big moments. We had some offensive rebounds again, and we were able to get to the line 38 times. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people make it out to, you know, our schedule this or schedule that. Our team is built to do something really well. And let's get fouled. And that was a huge thing tonight. You know, it was a big, big part of the game to be able to obviously take 38, make 23 to their shot attempts with 16. Hopefully we can continue to do a little better job at the line and keep making them. But that's a big thing for this team, finding ways to get to the foul line and put people in foul trouble. And, and I think our physicality was good. You know, Trace continues to be a monster on the boards. Uh, and, and, and that's, you know, to me, how we're going to win. We're going to win with trying to take care of the ball a little bit better. We're going to win by obviously getting to the foul line. And we got to rebound like crazy. And uh, that happened tonight in a couple areas. And uh, we were able to pull it out. Obviously, the home court helped. Kind of go back to that idea of poise. Devontae talked about it as well. I know you had more turnovers in the second half than you'd like, but yeah. were you surprised at all with just how calm guys looked, the way guys moved on from mistakes, no. the way they didn't seem bothered by when the game got tight in the second half? No, and I think that um, in general, like I said, I'll give Justin, you have Al out there a little bit. And I think those guys were very calm in the timeouts. There wasn't a whole lot of, um, you know, get flustered, oh, boy. I mean, you know, we've been through a lot. Some of these guys have been through a lot of games now, and all of our newcomers, to me, have confidence. They're not afraid. But we're able to respond. And in most cases, when you respond, somebody on your team rises to the occasion. That was Devontae tonight. He rose to the level that a senior guard in that game, you know, you, know, you hope that is able to do. Not get 30, but just make the plays to alleviate some of the pressure. And he, he made almost every single one of them for us. I guess, Archie, when you look at defensively for you guys tonight, where did the corrections come from that allowed you guys to stifle Florida State and you know, hold them scoreless for such long stretches, especially in the first half? 
Well, we knew it was going to come down to, you know, in, in reality, it's a one-on-one -on -one game. You know, when it comes down to those guys, they have physical driving guards, physical wing players that, you know, they try to, you know, lack of a better term, they really try to, you know, get the shoulder down and get by you. And they did quite a bit. I thought we made some good 50-50 plays, maybe some block shots. We challenged some things. But for the most part, in particular, a good stretch of the first half, we kept the ball in front of us. And uh, we were able to rebound it. They did a better job in the second half of using the high ball screen uh, to get down on us a few times, which was too easy. And we're, we're, we got to be better. Um, at guarding the ball, and I think Finnessy would help a lot in that in that area. Guarding the high ball screen, that's where he normally is. Um, but we're getting more experience. Um, clearly, adrenaline plays a little bit of a, a role here. But after I told those guys, first eight minutes, you know, you're going to feel different. And the first four minutes, it felt different. You couldn't make a pass. You can't do this. You have to be able to just say, okay, keep going, play through it, find a way. And I thought our guys did a really good job after those first four minutes, and not. All right, we got the first one out of the way. Now we can go back out here and keep going. And then from that point forward, I thought we competed pretty well. I asked uh, Devontae about two of the shots he hit. I think there was, there was one I think uh, he kind of spun at the top of the key and managed to somehow hit one. And then there was the other three that he tried to really sell the foul, didn't get it, and somehow hit it anyway. Uh, he said that basically he, he practices those shots. So I guess my question is, does he really? And when he does, does he actually make them? He practices them if he said he practices them. <laughs> he doesn't practice them with me. <laughs> and there isn't any drill that you're going to do to do that. You know? But that's the gift of, 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 of the game. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not about, it's about guys going out there and playing. He made some plays tonight that I was just like, wow. You know, obviously, you get taken back by. But there were also some plays that he made that you'd like to have back. He's got to you know, be able to secure that ball for us in that type of game a little bit better where it's just can't turn it over a few times. But, that's the type of kind of guy he is. I mean, to be honest with you, those are the games he relishes, or those things when he can have the ball in his hands and make those kind of shots. Now, you know, you'll go to Wisconsin, and it'll be a completely different feeling in, in, in Wisconsin. And you know, you know, he's got to be able to adjust to the next game. But he's playing well. I mean, he's a little bit hobbled right now, to be honest with you. Uh, but he stepped up tonight, and he played uh, as well as he's played all year long. And this is the kind of thing that we talked about in the offseason with him. You know, he's got to be a playmaker for us. You're going to have to live with some of the stuff that he does because he is gifted and he is talented and he can make shots. And you're going to need that kind of guy to do some of these things. And you've seen it a lot over college basketball the last few years. You know, guys emerge. They're seniors. They have great years. That's what we talked about with him. You know, he's got an opportunity right now uh, on a good team, in my opinion. He's got a team that can get better, too. But he's got a team that's a good team. And we can be – we can be – a team that can play with a lot of uh, a lot of heart this year. We have a lot of different guys. I think they can do things, but you know he's sort of the head of the snake when the pressure's on, and he's going to have to be able to make some of those plays. And, and he knows that. We talked a lot about that in the off season. Coach, just got to follow up on that. When Devontae's answering the bell, like you talked about, pressure moments, and he's getting more points than minutes, both minutes played. In your eyes, what's really going well over the course of the whole game for him? I think the ball's going in. I mean, just in general, Devontae's always been a guy I think that's wired to score. He, he, he values it. It's been something that, you know, we've struggled with with him at times that, you know, early in games, he doesn't make a few shots or things go bad, you know, don't get down on himself. He knows this year he doesn't really, he doesn't have a fear of things going bad because he's got he's to be out there. He's got to play. And uh, he knows that, you know, some of the stuff we'll live with, some of the stuff we're trying to get him better at um, at times. You know, I think Rob can obviously take the load off of him and Al's back here a little bit, you know, where they can get off the ball a little bit. But uh, to me, Devontae's at his best, obviously, you know, I think when he's scoring. I think when he scores, then he starts to play the game, you know, a lot better. He started breaking their press in the first half. He starts to get the bigs involved uh, behind the basket. He's, you know, he makes a couple, you know, drive to kick plays for other guys. And, uh, you know, he was, he was good tonight, man. I mean, he really was. Great. Same topic, Archie, but let's get more precise about this one. In the second half, he had a stretch there where he was he was the best player on both teams, actually. Yeah. What was that, what is that like? You want to leave men, but he's killing you, but he's also killing them. <laughs> it's a good it's a good question. Um, he was the best player on the floor tonight, without question. I mean, he dominated the game in a lot of different ways. Um, but there are just those times when he's got to let go of the ball. You know, it's just it's the first open pass at times, especially against the pressure teams. You know, when you start over dribbling, then it gets crazy. And you know, it, he had a couple there in the second half, a post feed. The trace was one. You know, he's got to be able to trust that he can get rid of it and get it back at times. But uh, you know, sometimes I think uh, the staff you'd be like, it's, you know, it's, 
it's feast or famine type of thing. But to me, he's got to he's got to feast. I mean, he's got to be out there. I mean, he really does in the big games. And uh, you know, you're going to live with some mistakes, like I said, especially some of the ones that um, are out of aggression. But there's some things in situational basketball, time and score, slow down the game a little bit. Things are getting crazy. Those are the ones you wish you could take one or two of them back for him. You know, think the game just a little bit more for him. But um, you know, we're not going to worry about that. We need his confidence, and you know, at the end of the day, he's uh, he's a character. He really is. Yes, you've kind of touched on this in different places, but with so many newcomers and people in larger roles in this team compared to last season, what did you guys prove about yourself in your first big game with so many um, opponents not of Florida State's caliber beforehand? I think that's the thing. This wasn't the first big game. You know, for a lot of these guys, the first game was the big game. Every game that we've played, you know, to this date has been a big game. You know, I think they're all learning. They're all trying to do well. And there's a lot of different guys searching for their niche on the team. And I think this was the opportunity to put all the individual stuff, and we haven't had much of it, out the window because this is the one you want to win. This is like the, all eyes are on you and you want to show that you belong. And I thought our team showed that they belong tonight. There's a lot of guys that went in there and made mistakes, but there was a lot of guys that went in there and did some good things that probably didn't show on the stat sheet. And, you know, you have Armand and Trace as true freshmen. Joe Brunk, you know, you know, Joey's playing his first year here. That's not easy. And then you have Jerome, who's basically a true freshman, running around out there. Race was hurt, didn't play all year last year, you know, basically. He's in there playing. Demise, he's in there as a sophomore, uh, you know, playing. Duran couldn't get on track tonight, but eventually he's going to get back. And I think that's the quest for this team is to have the strength in numbers and the development of winning means more than anything that's going on. And I think... You know, if you want to be a part of something like this tonight, you know, stay with it because, you know, I think that's the group that we have right now. That's been the group that we've talked about very early before we started the season, how we had to play, how we're going to have to do it. And at the end of the day, there can't be any compromise on that. And I think they know that, and that's not going to change. It was 11 to 4 early. Florida State seemed like they had all the momentum, and then Armand hit a big three. What do yeah. you think of his play today? As just, I think, as yeah, I think it was, it was talked about earlier. He grew up tonight. You know, he played on a big time stage in a big environment, made big plays. And he made some things happen that weren't you know, probably visible to the spectator as much as they were to our staff. He had a huge, couple huge drive to passes in the game when you play against an unbelievable shot blocking team and a team that's that talented. If you go to the basket and you get your shot blocked off the backboard, it's like a it's like a run out. You know, and part of it is when you drive, man, you gotta bring them all in and then you gotta be able to deliver. And he delivered a couple great passes. He stuck a big shot that rimmed in in the first half. That was obviously a big one. And uh, you know, I think at the end of the day, he was able to handle the ball against a lot of pressure tonight, which was good to see. And uh, he needed a shot of confidence too, because you know, it's like all young guys, man. You worry about like getting off to a good start, and you want to make a shot. And at the end of the day, coach is on me every second of the day to do this and that. And next thing you know, you you lose a little juice. I thought tonight he played sturdy, man. He showed some calmness to him. He competed, and this should be something that he looks at all the way down the line. And says to myself, you know, I can, I, I belong out there. I got to keep working and getting better, but I belong out there. And you know, uh, I'd, I'd add Trace the same way as a freshman. He's a young dude out there playing against a big front line. And, you know, to me, he was out there, you know, competing. And uh, you know, that, that's, that's the fun thing is, is to see these guys so early in their careers having an impact. I uh, saw so Finnessy pregame in a boot. Is that a, a new injury or something he's been kind of dealing with? <laughs> yeah, you know, Rob, Rob was back at practice yesterday um, and uh, looked great. He did. He looked great. And then he uh, turned his ankle on playing a one-on-one -on -one drill, uh, which, you know, inevitably is a little bit of bad luck uh, for him. Probably uh, maybe could have got in there tonight. Definitely would have probably been ready to move into maybe this weekend or next week. Uh, this ankle is going to slow him down just a little bit. But good spirits otherwise, and he's looked good. So, you know, hopefully now we just got to get through this ankle and get him back. And, you know, whenever it is we get him back, obviously we become a little bit better in my opinion. Last question, Zach. Got another guy that it felt like maybe got a little bit of a confidence boost. Demazey had some moments yeah. where it felt like defensively things were really kind of clicking into he place. Was, he was ready to play. I mean, I knew he was ready to play um, on Sunday. I knew he was ready to play on Sunday. He, he worked out on Sunday uh, for a good 30, 40 minutes. And, I mean, no one was more excited for him to be in the gym at 4 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. And uh, he was ready to play. I mean, he was excited. And, he brought the physicality that we needed. In this type of game, in that type of size on the perimeter, you're not going to be able to get away with three small people out there. 
and for him to be able to do his 20 minutes and he guarded, you know, to me, he guarded a lot of uh, good players and he hung in there, you know, used a sturdy frame. He was able to really, uh, you know, hang in there for us, which is it's what he's been doing. You know, he's getting more, he's getting more comfortable. And Jerome's the same way. Jerome just is, is basically brand new as well and he's trying to find his way as well. Once he gets in there and gets a little more experience, I could see where we can play small and do some things with those guys out there. But the means he can shoot. And he's a good shooter, and he's really shooting the ball well for us every day in practice. It was good to see him stick that last one, you know, to be able to knock that last one down. That was a big shot for our team in general, you know, because he can shoot the ball for us. So he's another added guy out there that I hope think helps help stretch the floor a little bit. All right, Coach, thank you. Thank you.